Okay, today I'm going to be showing my top 10 cards and a recap of the 2011 Pinnacle Hockey. So I'll start off with the recap of Pinnacle Hockey. So it's, there's an Alex Tangay base, Keaton Elberly base, I won't show you the base. Jonathan Tate's base, Corey Perry base, Zach Parise base, Patrick Marlowe base, Michael Camilleri base, Nikolai Kuhlman base, and I'll show you some of this is a cool photograph. Vincent LeCavier. And an Icebreaker's rookie card of Richard Bachman. So now on to my top 10 cards. Okay, so my number t I'm going to start from the um, 10 to 1. I might change this up a little bit. These are just cards I found in pretty much uh, in my room, so I might be getting some more, finding some more. So the first card is, uh, the number 10 card is Anze Kopitar, Young Guns. It's right there. Anze Kopitar, Young Guns from 0607. That's valued around twenty to thirty dollars I think. Oh, sorry, one second. What? What? Sorry about that. Okay, so it is my number nine card is a Fab Four Fabrics number twenty two of one hundred from Upper Deck. It is of Anze Kopitar, Ladislav Nagy, which is not on the Kings anymore, Alexander Fuloff, who's not on the Kings anymore, and Rob Blake, who's not on the Kings anymore. The only active King on this card is Anze Kopitar. So that's my ninth favorite card. And my eighth favorite card is a Andre Ethier Tops Triple Threads Triple Swatch Auto number thirty four fifty green parallel is I think considered a rookie card and is a patch and two swatches and the third swatch actually has a little bit of dirt on it I do not know why but it just does and that is a green parallel numbered sorry. Sorry about the glare. 3450. That was my number 8 card and my number 7 card, which you would see in my, my video before this, is a Bryce Brents First Woman Chrome autograph. And I got this out of a retail pack. I got about one retail pack at Target, and I got this card. So it's not numbered, but it's worth around $20. Oh, and this. The the quadruple jersey, I have not know how much it is worth. Probably not that much because they're not active. Some of them aren't even active players anymore. So, well, this card is around $30, I think. So, yeah, my, my sixth favorite card is a 2007 Bowman Blue Parallel of Freddie Freeman. I just found this in some boxes of cards. Looked him up and he was a great player. Could be a rookie of the year. It's numbered out of three ninety nine. Sorry, it's hard to see it. There you go. Sorry about that. It's pretty hard to see. And my fifth favorite card. I know. No, my sixth favorite card is a Danny Heatley. Sorry, one second. Shh. 
I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. So yeah, it's a Flare Ultra Scoring Kings patch. Three color of Dan and Heatley, number 3250. And I got this at my local card store for, I think, 20 bucks or something. So I don't know how much it's worth. I haven't seen any listings on eBay or anything. So, I don't know. I guess it's worth 20 or 30 dollars, I'm guessing. It's a three color patch. He was traded from the Sharks. I don't know who he went to. He's not on the Sharks anymore. And then, my fifth favorite card is a Brett Gardner 0506 Bowman Blue Refractor, number 25 of 150. So, that was worth around 30 to $40. It's not in the greatest condition, but probably around 30 then. And then my third favorite card, or fourth favorite card, is a Jake Muzzin Limited Rookie Phenoms from this year's Leaf Limited. A Phenom Spotlight of Jake Muzzin. There's an autograph on this... Um, fake patch, a manufactured patch with an NHL logo on it. Numbered to 10, it is numbered 3 of 10. I don't know if you can see. There you go, that one you can see very good. 3 of 10. Okay. And my third favorite card, which is now we're getting down to the very good cards. So this card would be worth a lot of money, but it has a crease in it. It's still one of my favorite cards. It is Wayne Gretzky, um, 1979 Tops card. And my second favorite card, a pretty sure this is 1955. 1955 tops. Yeah, 1955 tops of Jackie Robinson graded 4.5, which is not that good of a grade, but it's an old card. What happened? That's my second favorite card, and my favorite card is a Anze Kopitar autograph patch, a signature patch from the cup. Numbered 58 of 75. The patch is a really nice patch. It is a four color patch. And that's from the shoulder patch. That is the side of the King's logo. Right there is the side of it. That's on the shoulder patch. It's a very thick card. As you can see, it's even thicker when it's out of the case. And it's an on-card autograph. I really like on-card autographs. So, yeah. That's it. That's my favorite card. And my also my favorite player in hockey. And so, thanks for watching.